But the union says firefighters own gear, which is designed to keep them safe, is actually making them sick and they want accountability. Firefighters wearing protective gear while battling a raging fire in Dorchester late last year. Now that gear used by firefighters across the state and country, the focus of a lawsuit, arguing it poses a big threat. The most consistent exposure we get to carcinogens is when we put on our PPE every day. The number one killer of firefighters is cancer. The International Association of Firefighters is suing the National Fire Protection Association, the group that sets the standard for fire safety gear. The union says the standard calls for cancer-causing PFAS, or so-called forever chemicals, to be infused into the protective gear. We want to know why we can't get rid of them. Why the standard hasn't changed. The suit argues the NFPA is heavily influenced by the industry that makes money off the standard. This lawsuit seeks to expose collusion between the NFPA and the PFAS industry. In a statement, the NFPA says it shares the concern of the entire fire service community around the health and safety of first responders. We have not yet been served with this complaint, so we can't comment on it. The union says firefighters know they face risks, but their own gear shouldn't be one of them. We may not be able to control what is burning in the fires that we respond to and try to extinguish, but we can certainly control the needless exposure we get from the toxic carcinogenic PFAS that they manufacture our gear with. Now, the suit does also seek unspecified damages. Meantime, the union is asking fire chiefs to step in and set some standard operating procedure and limit the use of when that gear is used, perhaps only for thermal exposure. We're live here in Dedham, Sharman's Kenny, WCVB News Center 5.